The rally brought together Sudanese from Washington, D.C., Virginia, and Maryland to add their voices, urging the Biden administration to take action by protecting civilians and ending the almost six-month-long conflict in Sudan. The United Nations says the humanitarian situation in and around Sudan's capital, Khartoum, is there, with hospitals struggling to treat patients from diseases and gunshot wounds amid lack of essential supplies. The U.S.-based Sudanese American Physician Association are among the organizations that are trying to help and support Sudan's broken health system as well as the Sudanese people during this war. The situation is very dire, as you heard my colleague earlier. 80% of hospitals, you know, are shut down. The situation in Darfur is even worse. Uh, there are almost 14 million children who need uh, urgent humanitarian crisis, including vaccines. Uh, Kids are dying from malnutrition, about three or five of them are dying every day in what Madani Hospital, and the health care system is just crumbling. Several activists and human rights advocates who showed up for the Saturday rally in front of the White House had one message to President Joe Biden and the international community. They say they would like the U.S. and its partners to work towards stopping the violence, protect civilians, and provide humanitarian assistance. I'm here in my own personal capacity um, to support Sudanese um, in this crisis. Um, it's a huge humanitarian situation right now. It's, a, it's People are dying. There isn't enough medical infrastructure, humanitarian aid pathways. Millions and millions have evacuated, more than they have from Afghanistan, more than they have from Iraq, from Syria, from Yemen. It's an absolutely horrendous situation in Sudan. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres met with President of the Transitional Sovereign Council of the Republic of Sudan, General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and emphasized the urgent need for a solution that will bring a return to the democratic transition and the establishment of a civilian democratic government. The Secretary General underscored the need for the parties to ensure rapid, safe, and unhindered humanitarian access throughout Sudan. John Tanza, VOA News, Washington.